Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my current favorite fragrances. I am so excited to do this video because I'm obsessed with perfume. If you haven't seen my perfume collection, then you're missing out because you'll see how much I have and how I'm obsessed with perfume. So let's just get into it. So how this is going to work is I'm going to show you the fragrance and then below I'm going to put the notes so that you can kind of get an idea of what the fragrance is all about. I like don't know where to start. Okay, I'm just going to like reach in front of me and pick one out. So the first one is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. I'm actually going to put this on right now. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. One of my favorite things about this is the packaging. It's so cute. You've got this little bow on the cap and it's really pink and girly. I love this so much and you'll see the notes below. This is just a really, really nice fragrance. The normal Miss Dior is a little heavy for my taste. So this one is a little fruitier, sweeter, a little bit more girly and a little bit more young. It's such a nice perfume. Next, I have my one and only Joe Malone perfume. This is the Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. I cannot get enough of this. It's such an odd fragrance. I never thought I would like it, but I got it and I'm obsessed. Um, trying to figure out the notes. No, I can't see them right now, but they will be below. I got this little bottle right here and I use it so much and really that's all that has been used. Do you see that? It's a little ridiculous. This stuff lasts forever because it's very potent, but oh, love it so much. It's such an interesting scent. So I'm going to kind of go, I guess, like high end to like celebrity perfume, if you will. So next is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I only have little sample sizes because this perfume is so expensive, but it's so nice really warm scent, really awesome for the fall and winter. It's amazing. I suggest you go and smell this. Also, a lot of these high-end scents, you can go to Nordstrom and get free samples of them. I highly suggest doing that because I think you'll fall in love with these smells. Smells, that makes it sound weird. Scents. Okay, now I have a little roller ball. This is the Toca Giulietta, Giulietta? I think it's Giulietta. This is so nice. Ah, uh, this smells exactly like my favorite hairspray, the Serge Mormont Meta Luxe hairspray. It smells exactly like this. Oh, uh, I love this scent so much. And these are pretty pricey too, so I only got the rollerball. You can find these at Anthropology and. Sephora. Okay, going right down the line, we have the Soap and Glory Original Pink Perfume. This stuff is really hard to get your hands on. I got this from Sephora, I want to say last Christmas, but they recently stopped selling it there. I bet if you went on Soap and Glory's website, you could probably find this, or if you're in England, you can probably find this, but I think it's pretty hard to find in the States. Also, you could try Amazon. Amazon always has Soap and Glory stuff. But this smells exactly like their original pink scent, which is in their um, Righteous Butter, um, the Clean On Me body wash, and the, um, it's in their hand food, hand lotion, and their original like pink body scrub. Love this so much. Another Soap and Glory scent that I'm obsessed with right now is the Misty Madly a flirty floral fragrant body spray. So it's just like this and I don't know if you can see but the line that I'm at is right there and I've used this for two years. This stuff is so potent it might as well be a perfume. Oh love it. This scent you can find in a lot of their products but unfortunately a lot of the products that this scent is in aren't sold in the US. So you're really just going to have to find whatever you can on Amazon. That's usually what I do. But if you go on the Soap and Glory website, you can actually search products by scent. They have a little drop down bar where you can pick your scent and it'll come up with the products that have that scent in it. So if you want to try this out, you can do that and then try and find the product that you're looking for on Amazon. But I love, 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 love this so much. It's a very different scent. At first I hated it, but now I'm obsessed. 
Okay, now I have three celebrity perfumes. First, I'm gonna start with Justin Bieber, which is like so random. But this is the Girlfriend scent. I love this so much. It's a little bit more nostalgic for me. It smells like those mood scents that you could get in the 90s that came in just a little spray bottle that was circular in glass. And I think this reminds me of the Crazy scent. Um, my sister and I were obsessed with those. I actually still have them somewhere. I'm not sure, but I just love this perfume for that reason. It just takes me back to the 90s. Next one is Taylor Swift's Enchanted Wonderstruck. I've had this for quite a while, and it is down to here, so about halfway. This is a really warm, sweet fragrance. Perfect for the fall and the winter. It's just absolutely amazing. And this little bottle has lasted me a long time, so I don't feel like there's any reason to splurge for the big one. And the last fragrance we have is Katy Perry's Killer Queen. This is the original one. I am like down to here, so a little bit more than halfway done this bottle because it only goes down to here, so I've got like that much to go. I love this. It reminds me a lot of the Taylor Swift one. It's very warm and sugary, but it has a little bit more floral accents to it, I think. This smells so good, and I really like the bottle. Oh, it sits on its side, and it's like a little diamond shape like that. I think it's so pretty. I love this so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed my current perfume favorites. If you want to see more perfume videos or anything like that, just give this a video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.